Hi guys, what's up? It's summer as in the season as in sun and today's video is going to be a May book haul. I didn't like splurge and just go like buy books unlogically, but I did get some books on sale from like Amazon, um, Mercury, um, Target, and I got like a couple from Barnes Noble, but it was like a month ago when they actually were like trying to give me a good sale and not trying to make me pay extreme full price. Anyways, okay, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. All right, so the first book I got is Red, White, and Royal Blue, and this is what it looks like. It follows the son of a first of the first female president of the United States and the Prince of England. So yeah, and it's about 400 pages, and I think I got this book for about maybe $10. Yeah. This next book I got, I'm super, super excited about. Also, I got it for like, I think like $11, $10, which I'm super, even more happy about. So it's The Silent Patient, and I don't even know why I'm so excited about this book, if I'm going to be honest with you, because I don't even read thrillers. I probably haven't read a thriller since I was like 16 years old, but um... Yeah, this elevation. I think the cover looks so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read this. Um, but basically, we follow like a psycho therapist. Psycho therapist. Um, I think his name is Theo, I believe. And um, so he's following this case for this lady who has shot her husband in the face five times. So she killed him. And um, so now she is like solid. And he is like completely into this case and like trying to figure out like what happened and it's kind of like one of those things where it's like the random act of like all of a sudden crime cruelty violence because there are like there's no she has no record of previous violence or anything like that and the couple um the lady that did shoot her husband their marriage was looked upon as you know that little like perfect marriage or whatever um they were both I don't think they were Either they were both famous painters. They both did something in like the light of the world where everyone thought they were like perfect together and da 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 da. And then you know she just kills the man. The next book I have is Such a Fun Age, and I'm actually super excited to read this one too. I got this one on sale as well. So Such a Fun Age. This book follows this wealthy um, white lady. Um, I think her name is Alex Chamberlain. Um, she has this babysitter named Amaria, I believe who takes care of her toddler's son and one night there's this whole thing where she needs um, her to take the toddler so she does and they end up going to this grocery store and it's like a high-end type of grocery store and the security guard sees Ann Maria and kind of like makes this huge scene because he starts accusing her of actually like kidnapping the white child because Anne Maria is black and that's pretty much all I know about this book so it sounded kind of interesting. So the next book I got I really didn't even expect to get it honestly because I was like Summer you're doing too much like you're doing too much but yeah so I got Children of Blood and Bone by Tiami Adiyati. Did I say that right? Tiami Adiyami. So yes I'm trying to support my sister okay um, I actually did read like a chapter of this book in Barnes and Noble probably about two months ago and I actually did find it like very interesting. I know there's like multiple different themes of this book. I'm sure you guys have already like heard about what this book is about. I, I don't really know, okay? But I did read the first chapter because I thought that the cover was very um, eye-catching. Also people talk about how beautiful like her writing is and you know like we we love a queen that writes very academically, okay? We love it. We love it. I got Girl, Wash Your Face um, by Rachel Rate. Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And I actually only got this book because one of my friends um, said that it was a good book. But I actually did start reading. God, please, no, no! Good bit of this book, honestly. <laughs> no, no, and, no, um, no. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. They say this book is a bestseller. And I just, where? I just, I just didn't understand necessarily where, but I didn't finish reading all of it. I don't even know if I can force myself to finish reading all of it, if I'm going to be completely honest. However, um, I did buy this book. It was like on sale. I got it for like half price. But the original price of this book is actually like $22.99, but I think I got it for like nine bucks. Um, mm. The next book I got is Fangirl. 
so basic, I know. Um, I actually got this book uh, from the library probably about three months ago, maybe. But I didn't get to finish reading it because I was trying to like read other books that I got from the library. I always do that. But this book follows Kat. Um, I think her name is Kat. What is her name? Kath. Wow. She's basically having her first semester in college. She's having to deal with not living with her sister. Her twin sister, I believe, maybe? Yeah, her twin sister. Her twin sister doesn't want to room with her because she's basically just like, you know, like, I want to do something different, whatever, whatever. That really upsets Kath, but you know, she goes on with her life. And basically, um, she writes like fan fiction, fan comics, something like that. And so she basically has to learn how to like navigate college and like navigate being without um, her sister and being like just an individual in herself so. so the next book I got is The Testing and I actually got this book um, probably like a while ago and I know this is kind of like uh, the series The Legend, um, Champion, whatever that series is called. It's a dystopian but except this dystopian is kind of like after a war scene. So the next book I got is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. And this is my first Christina Lauren book to ever read, but I kind of just wanted to read it. I don't even like romances, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I've never been the type to just like, oh, let me pick up a romance. But um, a lot of people seem to like Christina Lauren. And like I said, I mean, why not read it? I'm going to be here, you know. A lot of people seem to like this or Christina Lauren in general for most of their books so I actually wanted to get John and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating but like I think this was cheaper ironically enough even though this is like the most recent I don't know so yeah that is it for the books of my haul my first book haul thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys are going to be reading books while you guys are in self-isolation and this quarantine type of thing please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you are already like here and you have not like subscribed we're trying to figure out like what you're trying to figure out because we're trying to figure out what's going on like go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'd really really appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys how do people do this like literally